45 Hashira secrets you probably didn't know. And did you know that Tengen Azui's original design was supposed to look like this? He was way less muscular, had bandages covering his face, and also had sleeves covering his arms to apparently protect him from the sun. Tengen's design went from this to this, and I gotta say, I like the current design way better. And we can't talk about Tengen without bringing up his disgusting origin story. You've probably noticed that Tengen has not one, not two, but three wives, and that's because of the way his family raised him. Tengen was raised to be a ninja, or a shinobi, in Japanese. When he turned 15, his family chose three wives for him based on how compatible they were with his personality. And that's not even the worst part. Tengen had nine siblings and loved them all very much. But his dad was extremely strict and overtrained them all so much that three of Tengen's siblings died as kids. And even worse, Tengen's dad made all his kids fight to the death so that only the strongest child would survive. After fighting and killing two of his siblings, Tengen was disgusted with his father and left the family forever. But despite all this, Tengen learned a skill from his family that only one other person in the entire Demon Slayer anime has. This was his ability to use two swords. Besides Tengen and Inosuke, none of the Demon Slayers used two swords to fight. These are just three of the 47 facts I'm sharing. And for the 47th fact, I reveal who Tanjiro marries at the end of Demon Slayer. But let's move on to the next Hashira. Sanimi has a secret advantage when he's fighting demons that none of the other Hashira have. And it's all because he's a Marichi. In case you didn't know, Marichi Marichis are humans who have extremely rare blood, which makes their blood 10 times more flavorsome to demons. But because Sanimi is also Hashira, his blood is even rarer than a regular Marichi. And his mouth-wateringly blood is so rare that demons will often become dizzy just by smelling it. This has allowed him to defeat extremely strong demons in the past because they're basically intoxicated. And I don't know if Sanimi is proud of how rare his blood is, but I definitely know that he is very proud of his muscles. It's because he's proud of them that he keeps his uniform form open in the front so that everybody can see his crazy six pack. And later on, we reveal the reason that Mitsuri keeps her uniform open while Shinubo keeps it closed. But did you know that Muzan and Sanimi have two weird things in common? Both of them weigh the exact same and are the same height at 5 foot 10. And just like Muzan, many, many people are afraid of Sanimi. In fact, Sanimi is the most feared member of the Hashira, which makes sense because he's scary looking. But let's talk about the strongest Hashira for a second. Did you know that Gyome once beat Inosuke head first into the ground? Inosuke being, well, Inosuke, challenged Gyome to a fight, and things didn't end very well for him. Unfortunately, this scene hasn't been animated yet, but I'm excited to see it in season 3. And I wonder if we're going to see Gyome's favorite animal in season 3. You see, several of the Hashira have favorite animals. For Obanai, I'm betting you can guess that it's snakes. For Mitsuri and Gyome, it's cats. But what does the strongest Hashira do when he's not out fighting demons? Well, Gyome has plenty of hobbies, but his favorite hobby is playing the flute. He first started playing it when he was a kid and fell in love with it. He played it for so long once that his grandma got annoyed and smacked him in the head with a broom. But let's talk about why Shinobu doesn't have an opening in her uniform while Mitsuri does. You see, Shinobu originally was supposed to have the same style uniform as Mitsuri, but when she saw how immodest the opening in the chest area was, she burned it right in front of the man who gave it to her. You go, girl! Before we get into why Mitsuri still has hers, let's talk about Shinobu and Mitsuri's weird relationship. While Shinobu and Mitsuri have different uniforms, they're actually really great friends. And one of the main reasons for this is probably because they're the only two female Hashira. Shinobu is able to talk to Mitsuri about her life, and Mitsuri teaches Shinobu how to cook. And if you remember from earlier, Mitsuri's favorite animals are cats, but Shinobu absolutely hates them. You see, she can't stand anything furry. And the reason for this isn't very clear, but that's why Shinobu Nobu's favorite animal is a goldfish. She has one as a pet and its name is Fugu. And if you Google what the word Fugu means, you'll actually discover an Easter egg. But before I share this Easter egg, we need to talk about something so it makes sense. Shinobu is extremely weak. She's actually the weakest Hashira, which is why she uses poison to kill demons rather than brute strength. But back to the word Fugu. You'll find that is the name of a poisonous puffer fish. This fits extremely well with Shinobu because she uses poison to kill demons. And speaking of poison, at one point in the series, the amount of poison in Shinobu's body was 700 times the amount necessary to kill a demon. That means if a demon even gets a lick of her blood, they're probably dying right then and there. Obanai is one of the freakiest looking Hashira, but did you know that
that the author of Demon Slayer revealed that he's not very strong in terms of physical strength, but even crazier, Obanai's voice actor, Kenichi Suzumura, is actually married to another actor in the cast. He's married to Maya Sakamoto, who voices Tameo, the doctor trying to figure out a cure for demons. But while the voice actor loves Tameo, Obanai himself is crazy in love with one of the other Hashira. It's not Giyome, and it definitely isn't Sanimi. It's Mitsuri. And before falling in love with Mitsuri, Obanai used to have an extreme fear of women. This is actually something that happens in the real world, and it's called gynophobia. But he's scared of women because as a child, he was raised by a woman who sacrificed all his siblings and cousins to a demon for money and power. And he also began to hate women when he saw how weak the female demon slayers were. It's implied in the manga that Mitsuri is the first and only woman that Obanai has ever found beautiful. And the funny thing is that Obanai fell in love with Mitsuri at first sight. He was so dumbfounded at her beauty that his pet snake sensed it and bit him. Because of his abusive family, Obanai grew up to be a very small and weak young man. Even as a Hashira, he rarely ate. But once he saw Mitsuri's extreme appetite, he began to eat more and more. I personally think this helped him become an even stronger demon slayer. We've mentioned that Mitsuri has an insane appetite and that she teaches Shinobu how to cook food. If you can't guess by now, Mitsuri absolutely loves eating food. She eats more food than any other Hashira. In fact, the reason her hair is pink is because she eats too much Sakura Mochi, a pink rice cake. And believe it or not, this is a medical condition that can actually happen in real life. Mitsuri also holds the world record for eating 100 sticks of Japanese dumplings. But let's talk about what you guys are really wondering about. Why does she have an opening in her uniform? Sanimi keeps his uniform open because he's proud of his six pack. Shinobu hated how immodest hers was. And Mitsuri also hated hers, but was simply too shy to ask for another one. Obanai noticed how much she disliked her uniform and gave her striped socks so she could cover up more. And it's probably worth mentioning that she loved Obanai back but was too shy to tell him. It's ironic that the love Hashira can't confess her love. <laughs> but I bet you didn't know that she was Rengoku's student. She was originally trained as a disciple to Rengoku, but when she wasn't able to master flame breathing, she created her own variation called love breathing. And just like her breathing style is different, Mitsuri's weapons is very different from what a regular demon slayer usually carries. Instead of having a normal katana, she has a thinner version that can fold. She uses this weapon as a whip and it's extremely effective. Mitsuri constantly asks Shinobu for love advice, but since they're both kind of naive, their conversations are always weird. Mitsuri once said that Shinobu tends to talk about heart rate, blood pressure, and the brain's response when it comes to love. It sounds more like a research thesis than a conversation about how to get a boyfriend. Did you know that Giyu has never ever smiled? He's a super quiet Hashira and the other Hashira don't really like him that much. The only time that Giyu has smiled was when he saw his favorite plate of food, salmon with gaikon. It doesn't really look that good, but I've never tried it, so I'm not sure. And did you know that Giyu's crow is so old that it tends to make mistakes when giving Giyu instructions? This has caused Giyu to arrive late at important fights several times before. But Giyu constantly makes Zunitsu nervous because he might become Nezuko's future husband. You see, after an intense fight, Giyu's Haori was torn to shreds. If you don't know, a Haori is just a Japanese type of jacket. But after seeing how sad Giyu's was, Nezuko was able to restore most of the jacket using her sewing skills that she learned from her mother. Giyu was so shocked that he began to send Nezuko many different gifts, like kimonos, hair ornaments, and little snacks. Muichiro is one of the most powerful Hashira in existence, but he does use some tricks to give himself the advantage. One example of that is his loose clothing. He wears oversized clothing so that his enemies can't as easily predict his movements. But there's a secret behind Muichiro's strength, and it's actually pretty simple. He's able to fall asleep under any conditions. Even if he's sleeping outside and it's pouring rain, he's still able to fall asleep. By always getting the right amount of sleep, he's able to perform at peak strength every time he fights a demon. But something that'll shock you is that that Muichiro is only 14 years old. He's the youngest of all the Hashira and became one of them in only two months. But if Muichiro is the youngest, who is the strongest? Well, that title goes to Giyome, the stone Hashira. And I don't think it'll surprise you that the weakest Hashira is Shinobu. Like I said earlier, that's why she uses poison rather than brute strength to defeat demons. And an Easter egg that hasn't been revealed in the show yet is that the words destroyer of demons are engraved in each of the Hashira's weapons. I'm not sure, but I think the words are enchanted to give the weapons more power. And since the Hashira are an elite group of demon slayers, they all earn a unique symbol on the back of their hand. This symbol 
correlates with the breathing style that they use. But if you look closely at the anime, it doesn't look like the animators have added in this detail yet. And while the katana is the standard weapon for a demon slayer, only four of the Hashira use katanas as their main weapon. Mitsuri uses that whip we talked about, Tengen uses two Nichirian blades, Shinobu's weapon looks like a normal katana, but it has a little slot in it for her poison. Obanai has a katana that is twisted just like his serpent breathing, and Gyome's weapon is an axe and a round ball with spikes called a flail. But the biggest question is, who is Tanjiro's future wife once Demon Slayer ends? Well, the last chapter of the manga answers this question, and I think you'll be surprised to hear it's someone you know. Tanjiro actually marries Keno, the girl he helped overcome her problem with making decisions. But I can help you make a decision right now, like what video to watch next. I highly recommend watching this video where I share 75 facts you probably didn't know about Attack on Titan.